We're back. Thank you for hanging in there while we've been absent from the channel. We've had a busy spell with our work schedule and a trip to Southeast Queensland. This episode is going to be slightly different. And instead of being at a single location, this episode is more about the journey. We are driving through my childhood regions of Southeast Queensland and the Northern Rivers of New South Wales. We've passed through the village of Drake and then we come to the village of Tabulum, which is located at the Broxner Highway's crossing of the Clarence River. It's a small village with a few houses, a pub, a store and a town hall. It's a good place to stop and stretch your legs. And if you have an electric vehicle, there is also a charging station on the main road into the town. Continuing east along the Bruxner Highway through more small villages, eventually we reach the town of Casino. And this town straddles the Richmond River and is the crossroads of the Bruxner Highway and the Summerland Way. Casino calls itself the beef capital of New South Wales, though there are also many dairy farms surrounding the area. The Casino Beef Week Festival is on every year, usually in May. But the town is also rich in local history and natural beauty. The Richmond River is sadly running very low at the moment, but the parks on the banks of the river are still a good spot for a picnic lunch. We had sumac chicken wraps and a Persian salad which I had prepared at home. Moving further east through beef and dairy farmland, we eventually reach one of my favourite childhood hometowns, Lismore. My fifth great-grandfather was a founding alderman of the Lismore Municipal Council in the 1800s, and many generations of my family have since been born and raised here. Sadly, Lismore suffered a severe, record-breaking flood in February 2022. The town centre is right where the Leicester Creek and Wilson Rivers converge. And after persistent heavy rain, water rose a staggering 14.37 metres. The scars of the 2022 flood are still evident throughout Lismore. There are many houses and businesses still standing empty and condemned. Up in the rolling green hills to the east of Lismore is another of my favourite ancestral hometowns, Alstonville. My great-great-grandfather purchased and established a dairy farm in the beautiful hills around Alstonville back in 1870. And the town and its hills have held a special place in all our family's hearts ever since. I had some of my best childhood memories here with early years of schooling and time spent with cousins, aunts, uncles, and of course, my grandparents. Though traditionally a dairy area, Alstonville is now mostly known for its macadamia farming. The Northern Rivers region of New South Wales is the only region in the entire world where macadamias are native. So this is the home of the macadamias and macadamias are now a staple export of the region. It was our delight as kids to collect the nuts and work hard at cracking them open. Down the hill and finally on the coast, the town of Ballina sits at the mouth of the mighty Richmond River, which is significantly wider and deeper here than its upstream counterpart in Casino. 
that River Bar has a treacherous history of shipwrecks, sinking the dreams of many incoming pioneers back in the late 1800s. But the river, which at this point is almost one kilometre wide, or just over half a mile wide, is also a haven for boating, fishing and regattas. North of Ballina, there are numerous seaside towns and villages with a relaxed holiday atmosphere. Lennox Head is a stunning location that is very popular with both locals and tourists. The long beach and beautiful headland attract visitors from all over. And of course, there is the famous town of Byron Bay, home to celebrities including Chris Hemsworth and Matt Damon. The Byron Lighthouse is a very popular tourist destination situated at the easternmost point of the Australian mainland. Be warned, however, the drive to the point is steep and narrow and parking at the top at the lighthouse is very limited. Visitors pay $10 per vehicle for a one hour time slot in the small parking lots managed by New South Wales Park Rangers. Further north of Byron Bay, is the beautiful seaside village of Pottsville, located at the mouth of Mooble Creek. Back when I was a kid, this was a sleepy seaside village we visited for family, church and Sunday school picnics. We enjoyed swimming in the river and catching crabs, while the adults enjoyed boating and fishing. The town is a lot bigger these days, but the beauty of the area has been preserved and it's great to see people still enjoying those childhood activities. We end our journey for this episode in the Mantra Southport Sharks Hotel on the Gold Coast in Queensland. Adjacent to the Sharks Football Club, the hotel is still new and fresh. We had a king suite and we recommend the hotel if you're looking for a place to stay on the Gold Coast. Thanks for joining us on our nostalgic journey through the Northern Rivers. In our next episode, 
we will be visiting the Springbrook National Park in the Gold Coast hinterland. We'll see you then.